Hey guys, uh, got both doggies in the room. Doesn't happen all the time, so they say hi. Uh, I want to talk to you about a uh, a little hack that I discovered in in some stuff I was doing. And uh, SVS sent out all these subs and, and speakers for me to listen to. And uh, you know, I sent out these SB two thousands. I've got the the other one over there. But I want to talk about this short little hack that I did that kind of made things a little simpler for me. Uh, the difference between ported subs and sealed subs is, is the response curve is a little bit different. Uh, sealed subs tend to do better above 40 hertz, where ported subs tend to do better under 40 hertz. And assuming we're talking about good quality subwoofers like the ones you'd find on the list. A lot of uh, store-bought sub subwoofers <laughs> probably give up under 40 hertz, so it kind of makes this discussion less important. But in terms of good quality subs, uh, if you got a sealed box, uh, what I noticed and what I saw on the graph, which I'll put up on the website, uh, is that there's more output above 40, 50 hertz, okay? So it's a little stronger up there. And personally, it's a little stronger than my own personal liking. So I was trying to deal with that. Like, I, I like my subs to be a little more bottom heavy, a little more, you know, grunt in the low end and not as high in the high end. And it was just kind of, it's just a minor annoyance. It wasn't like, oh, this sounds terrible. It was just... It just bothered me a little bit. So, you know, I've gone over how to set up your, your subwoofers and how to set up your system and stuff like that. And and the fact that you should give your crossover, uh, you should set your crossover to about 80 most of the time, like 90% of the time. And of course, if you want to set it a little higher, that's fine. But if you set it lower, you're kind of taking away some of that, uh, that low frequency signal that your subwoofer is good at. I mean, the subwoofer operates in such a narrow range that you don't want to take away too much from it. And so what I discovered is that, you know, that, that response was a little bit too too emphasized in the higher range of the bass. And it was just annoying me a little bit. And so I don't have a mini DSP 2x4 yet, but if I did have these subs, I would have gotten one to fix this issue with that. I didn't have one on hand. I wasn't going to get one specifically because I knew I was going to these next. I wouldn't really need it. So I was just messing around with it. And what I found was that you go to your crossover settings, okay? And you change it from all to individual. Now this is the setting I had it for on the sealed subs. And you'll notice I set my center at 60 Hertz instead of 80. Now this is kind of backwards, right? Because those towers will handle deeper frequency than the center, obviously. I mean, the towers are, you know, definitely rated to go lower and they will go lower, but they'll handle, you know, 60 Hertz, no problem. Uh, the, the center will, you know, the center is rated, I should know this, but it's, it's, it'll handle 60 Hertz with no problem. Okay. Uh, what I generally say is you want to give the full 80 Hertz to your subwoofers. And if you, you set your crossover at 60 on the AVR, you're, you're cutting off your subs too early. Okay. And so, but I, what I did was I switched the center down to 60 and it shaved off some of that high frequency response to the sub. It took away some of that sub signal and so it kind of shaped the curve to make it a little more, uh, a little less emphasized in that higher frequency base range. So it's just one of those things that I was able to mess around with to kind of get the sound where I wanted it. Now I could have set the fronts to 60 and the center at 80 but to me, it took away just a little too much. So that's why I did the center, not because the center could handle it better. Uh, you know, the towers handled it better, but it just took away the right amount of base signal to get it to where I wanted it. And so that's one of those things that I learned that just, it, it was just, it's a, it's a poor man's DSP. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I didn't have uh, the, the mini DSP two by four, or there's other options out there that are like that, but that's a pretty reasonable one. But just not having it and not needing it in the future, I just shaved the response off a little bit and it really just it took care of it. Now, if I wanted even more off, like I said, I'd do the fronts at 60 and the center at 80. And if I wanted even more, I'd do both front and center at 60. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of goes based on your own personal preference, your, your, your own listening style. But it's just one of those ways where you can kind of shape the curve a little bit and this is for when you have too much high end uh, on your subwoofer. And so now where this doesn't fix it is if your subwoofer just doesn't go deep enough, this isn't gonna change any of that. So 
this is kind of specific to subs that already go plenty deep and you can adjust them and all that good stuff. But anyway, it's just a little little hack I thought I'd show you guys and you know maybe that might help you out. Um, you know, it was one of those things I'm like, oh hey, that helps. So I figured I'd make a video of it. So anyway, doggy say hi. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.